And you guys actually spent time uh, in the Maori community. We did. We we were very lucky. We got to go to the Marae, which is the, the local community there in Rotorua. Uh, and we were, I guess, initiated uh, or certainly welcomed. Welcomed. Yes. Shall I say welcomed into to, um, to their community. And I think for me, it was my first time. I know you've done this before, but there was this whole process where we were uh, challenged uh, the by a, a warrior. Um, that was scary. It was really terrifying. <laughs> yeah. um, he's so powerful, and he has his tie. Uh, oh, yes. tie high, tie high. His spear. Right. Um, and uh, he lays down something on the ground that we then pick it's a, up. It's like a. It's like a. Um, um, a, a, a branch, a small branch that you, if, if you don't pick it up, that's bad. That means okay. it's on. Okay. We're going to have a big fight now. So, so I'm glad you picked it I, up. I, I, <laughs> I remembered to pick it up. Yes, you did. Well, I was trembling. And, uh, and then they brought us in and then they sang to us yeah. uh, and did a welcome in Toreo, the, the language. And then it was our turn. And we sang. And I was... I was a little hurt, actually, that I started the song, okay? I started the song, it was Flower of Scotland, and started the song, and, and then Sam joined in, and, and I thought it was really moving, and the, the, the people there on the Marae were very moved, I thought. And then when we came to the, the film of Men in Kilts, they cut me singing. <laughs> they just yeah. cut it. I mean, we'd... We'd probably, I'd probably only never sung that song drunk, I have to admit. Mm, At like a yeah. rugby match or something. True. But, um, but it was amazing. And, and obviously, uh, Graham spoke first because he's the elder. Of course, yes. <laughs> but um, no, it was incredible, wasn't it? To, to like be welcomed into there. And then I think we rubbed noses. We did the, the, yeah. the, 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 uh, the hongi. The hongi. And then we, we competed in all kinds of manners. Well, we didn't rub of, noses. Well, no, we didn't rub noses. No, we'd rubbed noses straight. earlier in the day. So <laughs> we didn't need to do it again. But uh, the waka, we did a waka race, which is the... The, 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 the waka. The waka. 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 Ooh. The, waka. It's like a kayak or a, an outrigger. Yeah. Um, yes, which, is, which you won at. Yeah, I won that. And then what else did I win? The poi, probably. The Ray Ray slide. The rock Ray slide. Ray slide. I certainly won that. That yeah. was horrific. Yeah. That was a bad day. That was yeah. a bad day. But anyway. He got an owie. He got a little... Hey, it was dangerous. He got a... There is a whole sign this at the top the of the slide. A whole sign, which they managed to not let me see, that said, likely, likely uh, serious injury or death. Yeah. So, so essentially, it's a, a natural rock slide. So, uh, a very long f rock formation that has, uh, you know, a waterfall going down it. And apparently, the locals like to slide down it on various forms of, um, I don't know, aquatic apparatus. From yeah, there were uh, yeah. boogie boards, boogie boards, rubber tires, mattresses, mattresses, which would have been nice. Sofas. Probably. So we, so Graham decided to slide down it on his bare. No, 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 I didn't try to do that. Yeah. I was on the boogie board. Oh. But then I hit right. a, a lip in the rock that then catapulted the boogie board Ooh. off, leaving me to Ooh. basically slide down on my chest, having mm. my nipples shaved off. <laughs> yeah. So he got an owie. He got a little cut. A little, yeah, yeah, massive owie. And do you remember what the guy said yeah. when we got to the top? Yeah. This bloke who we were about to go trout fishing with, <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, there was a guy here about your age the other day, did that, came down there and uh, had his whole testicles ripped off. They trailed him. Oh. They trailed him down to the bottom. Mm. Oh, I, and also there was a sign as we're walking out. They also said this water mm. might have uh, traces of E. coli. Yes. So, um, really, uh, yes, possib really possibility dangerous. of drowning. Yeah. The most dangerous part of your trip, maybe. Quite possibly. Yeah. yeah. It was Great awful. for kids. <laughs> if you want to get rid of them. Um, this is a fun one. Uh, how did you guys choose your outfits for the show, and did you choose them? Good question. That's a good question. Good yeah. Question. No. So <laughs> we work with a wonderful team in Scotland in season one, 
Laura, Strong, Michelle, Wendy, um, Davy, all these great people who are, who are our core team. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't bring them with us um, to New Zealand just because of the whole um, uh, quarantine situation. So we did have to wear some different outfits there. Um, so I dressed Graham. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, basically, we, I remember our costume fitting, and he was in one room and I was in another room. And I was being put into like a succession of seemingly like Victorian gentlemen's outfits. Sure. And then I would go next door and there would be yet another sleeveless top that <laughs> he would be wearing. I was pretty happy with it. I said, yeah. yeah. And then, then there was the, those, those sort of onesies that we wore that were like giant condoms that we had to climb into. <laughs> And was that just on your off day, or was that, that, that was, was yeah that was for yeah that was just for Friday night in Wellington. But no, we um <laughs> we did something that never made it into the um the show, but in it's in the book we write about. It's uh, one of Graham's finest moments where um we were going to be kayaking, mm. um and uh, you know the most um, beautiful area. Um, Oh yeah, Milford Sound, stunning. With the the mitre, is that the right? The mitre, the mitre peak. Mitre yeah, peak. Yeah. It's just this incredible, ridiculously uh, beautiful yeah. place in the world. And um, we were supposed to kayak there, and you know, crystal clean waters. And uh, I got in the kayak and I paddled out. And we were wearing these kind of pantaloons, almost like I don't know, sort of with a giant skirt, like a sort of a cliched French comedian kind of, you know, yes. mime artist. Oh, okay. yes, and um, and I, I paddled out and I turn around and look back and he's just waving goodbye to me as he goes off for lunch yeah. on the boat. Yeah. He no way was I doing that. So, no. That was the, that was the one time I went, ah, I think I'm good. Yeah. I'll go back to shore. But Milford Sound was incredible. Yeah. Milford Sound. Um, we took a helicopter up, uh, 7,000 feet up onto a glacier in the height of summer. Um, and landed on this glacier, and it was absolutely incredible. You saw a little bit in the trailer there for the show, and um, it just is remarkable. The guy, remember the pilot? Was his name Alf? Alf? Something. Is this in the, the helicopter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the helicopter pilot. He'd, he'd done all the, like, the Mission Impossible and Narnia and all these things. I mean, an incredible helicopter pilot. Classic, typical <laughs> New Zealand guy, just very sort of dry. nothing, very dry, nothing impresses him, and... And then we flew back. Remember when we flew back through the shot over Canyon and we, yeah. were, we were only like 30, 40 feet above the river. It was amazing. Yeah, that was great. Because, I mean, some of these questions relate to this, actually. That was maybe one point where you got scared, Sam, would you say? It was uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, look, I... I he was scared. I, 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 I would say scared. Yep. You were scared. Uh, not scared. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't love helicopters. Um, I'm with you on this. I think it's very rational. Yeah, I just don't trust that. them. And I literally, I was in a helicopter recently, very lucky to fly into New York. And, and incredible along the Hudson River. It's a hard life, guys. It, it, it is, it is. And to, I was very lucky to do that. Being, but being taken to prison? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the island. Um, yep. But uh, it just, I just don't trust them. I don't yep. trust them. I know that if something goes wrong, it, they can't really glide. Um, and our pilot, as Graham mentioned, you know, was like stoic, kind of gave nothing away. And then he would fly at a peak and then just at the last second sort of go over the top of this peak um, because apparently it looked good for the, the TV show. But it was <laughs> quite terrifying. Yeah, he was, he was great. He was one of those New Zealanders who had a belly up in their mouth when they're talking. They sort of talk like that. It's really kind of their mouths are really close together. They, you know, sort of mumble a little bit. And you, you don't really understand what they're saying no. much. And... And, and that was him the whole time. Oh, we're coming into Hobbit country now. I think you might see some of your friends down there. Yeah. Like, right, no one's ever said that before. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Hobbit country. Yeah. 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 Um, no, I had one there. It's gone. It's gone. There's, there's a lot of questions. Um, what, Graham, you, you live in New Zealand. I do. Yes. What, what, would, what, what would you say... You know, if people wanted to go to New Zealand, what would you say is the appeal? What, what is it that you love about New Zealand? Uh, oh, well, um, incredible, I mean, some of this might sound weird, but incredible light. Mm. The light in New Zealand, I tried to describe it to somebody who'd never been, and it's, it's like the difference between standard definition and high definition. 
So when you're in New Zealand, everything is like etched in light. It's beautiful. And your, your senses are flooded by light, obviously in the summer especially. Uh, the air is incredibly clear. Um, the, the nature there, the access to nature. Uh, and also the fact that, you know, call me old fashioned, but if you go on a hike in New Zealand, you're not going to encounter a bear, you know? You're not. You're not going to suddenly meet a grizzly or anything like that. You're going to meet a flightless bird, you know? Is that an old fashioned opinion? Not wanting to meet a bear? Or well, you know, some people are like, oh yeah, let's walk the Appalachian Trail, oh, which is, okay. I'm sure, really beautiful, but bears <laughs> live on the Appalachian Trail. And, and so I love the fact that it's really safe. It's really safe, it's very beautiful. Nature is amazing, the beaches are incredible, the variety. I mean, we talk about it in the book that it's like Neverland, like, mm. yeah. like J.M. Barry's 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. everything is accessible for an adventure. Yeah. And that's what we discovered when we were doing the show. Real extremes, yeah. I had a, fr I have a friend actually, Jenny, who, who lives in New Zealand now, and um, she's a mountain biking enthusiast, lots of mountain right. biking in Queenstown, I think. That's right? right, Queenstown, yeah. And she got in touch recently and said, oh, I've, be, I've been out of work for about two months, got really bad concussion, and we all thought she'd obviously fallen off a mountain bike. Uh, but she fainted and cracked her head off the toilet. <laughs> so. Well, actually, now you mention it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we also went to Queenstown, where yeah. you can mountain bike, you can, and yeah. jet ski, and jump out of a helicopter. Sort of a Sam um, Hewen paradise. My paradise. Yeah. And Graham did get injured there, didn't you, Graham? Yes. Uh, oh. Yes, I did. Yes. But was it on a mountain bike or no. jumping out of a helicopter? Or? No, no, it wasn't. No, no. It was in a. It was in a spa. <laughs> yes. Uh, and what happened in this spa? Did you I, bend down and get the soap? Did you? <laughs> that was last week. Yes. Um, no, I, um, I, I, I got out of the uh, beautiful spa pool and um, walked across to get a towel and hit my head on the towel rack oh. and split my head open. Yeah. It's a hard life. So, so the, yes. The moral is stay out of the bathrooms <laughs> and, and go yeah. do the adventure stuff. Do the stuff. scary stuff. Do the scary stuff. Never it is know. stupid, yeah, it's stupid. That was the injury I got, was in a spa. 